Welcome back to Perfect Apocalypse Patches Inferno. I didn't forget this time. We're gonna turn left off of getting some horror games out of the way, and now back to this, because I mean, e even after I finish this, there's the fan games I'll be getting to, because I'm sure a lot of people want me to play that as well. Hopefully it'll have the similar quality at the very least, and you know, something I can at least get into and people will be interested. But for now, we're just gonna finish this up. Hopefully in this entire episode, maybe get like, the good ending, everything wholesome, and then wrap it up by getting the imperfect... What is it called? The, the achievement was specifically... Uh, imperfect Apocalypse. Well, before I got Imperfect Ending, but not the Imperfect Apocalypse. Uh, perfect route of, like, getting everyone absolutely upset and whatnot. So, yeah. We are... Wait, did I break the game? I think I broke the game. I'm clicking on everything. Uh, okay, let's load. Load. There we go. For some reason, I had some somehow found a way to break the game. I somehow found a way to broke a visual novel game where I had to reload my save in order to get it uh, working again. Not sure, unless the F8 key, which I used to start the recording, um, unless doing that messed with the game map? I don't know, man. Anyways, let's go for lunch. And all of like all of likely found a seat with their moronic friends. No matter, this short period will be better spent gathering the ingredients for the perfect apocalypse. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I think most of it will be this, like, except for being evil. I'll, I'll have to see what is good stuff though. Oh, so yeah, and this what I'm not what what I was never. Uh, what's never happened in my prior saves was. Coco and Angel here on the table. I'm so used to just seeing <laughs> Olive sitting alone on this table. I'm so not used to seeing it like this. But I'm probably gonna have to, like, no matter what, uh, distract because it. Actually, wait. If I leave her alone, you're not fun to talk to you if you're not if you're too tired to pay attention to me. Huh? What was that? I had to give her the book, basically. And if I try to take her fur, she, she absentmindedly pats patches on the head. You're always so hungry for attention, it's endearing. She seems completely oblivious to what he just tried to do. And then it goes, yeah, to the grimoire. And everything else is the same. Actually, or should I be able to maybe talk to Mittens and get her before they get distracted? Maybe. Angel waves at hello at Patches. He's eating a hefty pile of raw meat. Coco is talking to her friends about how she's worried about retail loss preventions while Brownie's working the cafeteria till. Can I talk to the bunch over here? I don't care about Doug or you. And the big cat are talking about their classes. And this massive cat is busy flexing. There's only, I guess... The two things I can do in this, and that is to distract, take for, they get distracted, and then needing to get Felix maxed out. But everything in terms of conversation is something I've already done. Alright, well, I don't know, looks like I, it's a really quick thing, all I have to do is like talk to, uh, uh wait, wait, what was her name again? Ginger. No, oh, wait, wait. I, I might not have read this before. Mm. Family name ritual. They calm down. Huh. Got my book back. Nah. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Expression is completely glazed over. If we had dog blood in the family, I'd be so pissed. That's probably why I can't use magic, right? Now that dog is using our family's magic to help the disgusting zombies. Disgraceful. How did our family ever miss this? Or do you think they were trying to hide this from us the whole time? I'm kind of mad at them now, too now, aren't you, Mid? Mins is staring at the wall. Right. Catatonic. Cat pun. Oh, hi, Angel. Eve's dripping. <laughs> eavesdropping, you little rascal. I'm just a spectator. You all seem to be wrecking social havoc just fine by yourselves. Mm. Mm, well, yeah, that's all I can do. So, we get to get a wholesome uh, moment again by finishing lunch, though. 
Are you ready to eat lunch together? Yes. Yum yum puppy food. Share with all of... You would share? Oh my gosh, you're so wonderful, Patches. You're technically the one who paid for it. I'll just eat whatever you have left over. You're, you're a growing kitty, after all. I mean, dog. Let's eat. Patches shares his lunch with Olive. Olive is super happy. The bell rings. There we go. Three stitched up. Now to the gaim. Yeah, I guess to baseball. We're gonna have a wholesome baseball time. Bunch of cats or dogs are heard bickering. Not to help Ginger. You know, I haven't yet to get Sparky and Tomboy Cat happy. Blah, 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 blah. Everything's the same. Help Ginger speak, though. Stop interrupting Ginger, you filthy animals. Oh, thank you. Sparky, I'm feeling completely exhausted. It'd be great to take the rest of the period off. Well, I'd, why didn't you say so? Feel free to do whatever you need. I'll catch up uh, to speed after school. Thank you. Before you go... Ginger runs off. Bam! No Ginger, no team captain. Your rover. Talking about this stupid baseball shit. I felt an uncontrollable urge to call the number and have its owner meet me at a remote location with no witnesses. Whoa, awesome. It'd be so fun to play ball in the wilderness. Play ball? Yeah, what else? I just thought you'd put the number for, for... Is Patches thinking it would be for something sexual? Never mind, the bathroom wall sounds like the perfect place to make new jock friends. Nah. <sighs> Let's see, anything else I can do out here, though, besides just flip this over? Just a bad doodle. If I, say, if I start making them question themselves, I'm sure I could make it, like, really confusing. I'm gonna just do it for the fun of it, though, and then go backwards. Are you a tiger? Actually, it's pronounced Tigger. No, a tiger is a massive striped cat from the islands of the rainforest. Actually, wait. So if I say you are a tiger, can you swim? Maybe. Wow but then I'm not a cat. If I, say, if I tell them they're a cat, then they say they're not a cat. It's so confusing. See, if I'm not a cat, then can I really... Uh, telling them they're a cat makes them think they're less of a cat. You have to say never mind. Actually, it appears I am mistaken. You're definitely all cat, but how will I know for sure? Uh, how should I know? Tigger looks like she's on the verge of tears. Do you have two pointy ears? Yeah. Do you have a long tail? Yeah. Do you love savory salmon snack packs? I love those. Done, your cat. Wow. Phew, good to hear. I wouldn't want to feel singled out from all the other cats. Oh no, you don't stand out at all. Eh, not at all. Help distract Sparky. And of course, modest, <laughs> but <laughs> quiet and fair. Something simple, not too gaudy. I guess if it's a quiet distraction, everyone will be able to uh, be able to focus on my muscles a little better. Pat the ball into orbit. Wait, I don't remember if I read these or not. Why don't you just get a home run, huh? You know, bat the ball out of orbit. While everyone's in total awe, you can run off and meet your little friend. Wait, why do you want me to get a home run? I'm on the opposing team. Dude, we're on the same team. Cat pride. You can do anything you want if you know every cat in Kimono Woods is rooting for you. I find that hard to believe. Oh gosh, you talk like you ain't ever had a team backing you up. Well, no worries, little man. You got my support. Get some other animals to hype you up too. I swear it makes a huge difference. Now go get that home run. Ugh. Uh, well, I got them then maxed out, and that's all good and easy. Did you want something? A home run. Got any tips for getting a home run? Oh, you want to choke up on the bat, make eyes at the pitcher, and swing through your hips. Uh, thanks. I have no idea what any of that means, but thanks. Yeah, it's pretty complicated, but you get good at anything if you do it a hundred times. Let me guess, you learned all this from Sparky? I sure did. There's a super awesome, super secret way to get a home run, though. I might tell you if you bring me something I can play with while I wait for the game to start over. What could you possibly want? Something cool. Cool, isn't that a little ambiguous? Ambiguous? What does that mean? Never mind. Good luck. Alright, well, we just gotta get the... There... I'll just take it. You just give me that hamster. Here you go. How's this for cool? Patches gives Rover the snake and the hamster. Whoa! Look at these little guys. Wait, don't snakes eat these things? The hamster looks stinky. The snake seems unappetized. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm an unappetized. 
How unfortunate. Oh well, I held up my end of the deal. Alright. So the secret to getting home run is... Confidence. Of course it is. I find getting lots of compliments really helps. I'll show you. I like your fur cut, your eye patch is cool, and your personality is kind of hot and cold. But I think it makes you rad to talk to. Eh? I suddenly feel... Great? Like you've triggered my fight or flight response. <laughs> uh, that's a good response. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what that means, but if you can fight and fly, I bet you can get a home run too. Hmm, thanks. Alright, well, with that... I'm supposed to get him, I swear to god, maxed out. Hang on. He's trying to leave. Hmm... That's the only way to get Sparky maxed out. Mm, I think only during the game, so let's just start it then. Time to play ball. I love that confidence. Usually the, the away team would bat first, but maybe we can make an exception here. Whatever it takes to get a home run. Daw, home run? Well, you don't believe I can get one? Oh, I believe you can get one, I just hope it's for the right reasons. This game's supposed to be about having fun and making friends. If you're aiming to excel, just make sure it's for you. Oh, this is for me, all right. For me to escape your insufferable presence, that is. Great! It's great seeing you so passionate about something that isn't your other hobbies. I know you'll do great, Patches. Explain the rules. Patches is batting. Tigger is in the catcher's box. And Sparky stands on the pitcher's mound. You can do it, little man. Ugh. Sparky pitches the ball. Patches swings as hard as he can. He misses the ball. Tigger manages to catch it. Ugh. It's all right, little man. You're doing your best. Sparky pitches the ball again and again. Patches can't seem to hit it. Three strikes, you're out. I hate this. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, Patch, shut up. I don't need your toxic positivity. No, I wasn't going to... Look, it sucks to fail at anything. I mean, I let losing get the best of me all the time. And then the other dogs would worry I got my feelings hurt, and then I'd feel even worse. And I realize sometimes you make mistakes, and it's frustrating, and it feels like the world sets you up to steal a wand and almost commit murder on some misunderstood dogs. That's really specific. And you can't really forgive yourself, but that's when your friends step in and help you out. Sparky hugs Patches really hard. It's okay to feel bad. Move on whenever you're ready. Eh, thank. Thanks. No problem. Everybody cheers Patches on. Sparky and Tigger are super happy. Wow, that was really wholesome. I think I got you all wrong, Sparky. Your muscles aren't on the outside, they're on the inside. Uh, thanks? Screw winning and losing, I just want to throw a ball and run around with some cool cats and dogs. Yeah! Whoopee. Let's get on with the rest of the game. The game continues without incident. Phew, that was a good close game. So, can I leave now? Did you have fun and make new friends? Sure. Then go ahead. Make sure you're back by the time the bell rings, the assembly's happening just further down the field. See, Angel, great work out there today. Bye. Now I get to see Ginger one final time. Also save just in case, even though I'm I'm pretty sure I'm doing everything fine and everyone's super happy. Probably, probably. Can we eat some cupcakes? Did I forget to eat them? Eat. Eat. This one has a bit of fish in it. Why does it taste so good? Eat. Not bad. And no more snacking. I wonder what would happen if I, like, literally just killed Ginger and that was it. I'm sure, I'm sure I'd just get, like, the same bad ending where I kill one person and they all just gang up on me. Probably. But, um, we'll save it just in case anyways. Because I might want to try seeing what happens if I kill Ginger. Like, everything's wholesome up to the last moment. Well, we'll have to find out out of just sheer curiosity. Ginger said it crossed like, and then she almost seems asleep. Boo! No, I need to focus. One, two, three. One, two, three. Patches. I'm sorry, it's difficult to focus on holding the dogs together and talk to you at the same time. It's just so rambunctious. If only we could do... Uh, we were doing yoga instead of baseball. That's too bad. I can see why you came to the spot to focus then. Far away from prying eyes. Completely isolated. Please, Patches. We're so close to saving everyone. Talk. Ah, what? Did you think I was going to kill you? Yes? I just wanted to check up on you. And maybe it was a little, uh, validating to scare you, too. Oh, thank God. Or thank... dog. I'm exhausted, but I'll be fine. Thanks for checking. How about you? Are you okay, Patches? Why wouldn't I be? 
You just seem so conflicted. Everything else is the same, let's see. Change. I don't like this. <laughs> Ding. I just wanted to check up on you, uh-huh. Thanks, Ginger. I'm glad you're doing so well. Good luck keeping your things together. I'd better get going or I'll miss the assembly. Ginger, close your eyes and meditate again. This would be a good time to get that fur. You just need a knife to cut it with. Oh. I see. Go to my locker, then. Alright, I'm glad Angel isn't here to see this. Ugh. Very special knife. My I needed to fix everyone, but what if I don't do anything? I won't be saving from now on, just out of curiosity. Like, what if I went to the assembly without the ingredients? Not sure. Not sure, not sure. I'm kind of curious what happened with a few variables, even if it's not linked to achievements. Like, one is... Patches silently cuts away a piece of the fur. Now for the grand finale. Now I can do the summoning, but I think Patches would probably just, like... Yeah, he'd restrict... Never mind. And then he'd restrict my ability to... One, kill her. The only way I'd kill her is if I got the knife before entering the gym, probably. Hmm, we'll see. The bell rings making the end of the school day. Everyone gathers in field in front of Kelko and Mittens. Did I even appease the last ones, or do I do it here? It really has been eons, hasn't it? I was a little worried. Ginger looks so tired. I wasn't sure if every puppy's stitches would fall out, but it looks like everything's okay. And I think cats and dogs got along pretty well, too. I'm still curious. Hmm. Now yeah, we'll see what happens. I think cats and dogs got along pretty well, too. They sure did. Everyone quiet! You yeah, see, they're, they're, their heart has not gone up at all. Have I messed up, or is it just something for here? Mittens, hello everyone. As you know, today is an experiment to see what a day would look like if cats and dogs lived, worked, and learned side by side. If this... It is this experiment that all canines' live, lives here depend on. But, I'm beginning to think that shouldn't be the case. Eh? You promised you'd heal them. Your lives and bodies shouldn't have to depend on me. And then I remember this. Did you hear that, Patches? Wait, did dogs really win you over that much? I just think I owe more status to dogs. The same thing. Hey, 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 looking for this? I pulled the stolen crusted ball. Everything else is the same. Hmm. Uh, tough to fur. Want my body back. Snaps. Its head creaks as it turns to stare at Angel. Wait. Angel feels his soul being ripped from his body. His screams fade into nothingness. Patches feels a similar sensation. Everything goes dark. Patches gasps for breath. Patches! Aha! I'm me again. Oh boy, do I ever feel alive. What are you doing? Wah. What's best? This is my body. All of it belongs to me. But you're scaring everyone. You're scaring me. Wait. Mmm. Meh. I don't know why you're doing this, but we can talk. I promise I'll listen for as long as it takes. Olive looks at Patches pleadingly. Poppermet leads in to hear Patches' next request. I just put them back together. The being pauses and uh, as you wish. Field rumbles. My battle scar is gone. Same thing as before, but the, the difference is I won't be killed for all this. <laughs> Patchy. Olive hugs Patches so hard his ribs might break. He pats them softly on the back. I'm so afraid you're going to do what hurt my best friend. I'm your best friend? I'm not saying it again. Wait, Angel. Holy cats, not again. Please, please don't- oh, wait. I hug, please, please don't be gone. I can't do this again. And Ginger walks in. So, it looks like the healing went well? The twink is back. Angel sits up. He slowly turns his head to look at Patches. You! The fuck? He lunges at Patches, attempting to tear his throat out with his teeth. What the fuck? Get off me. You fucking bastard, I'll kill- what, what? Angry fucking twink, what's going on here? Sparky lifts Angel off Patches. You're so small now. Sparky, Patches stole his body back, we have to- Angel- no, no, Angel, look around. Look at all the doggies. Angel looks around, he sees that all the dogs have been healed. He looks down at his own body, he's a cat again, completely healed as well. Eh? You have a lot of explaining to do, Patches. I think Whittle Patchy is a big softy now. Ugh. 
Apache boy, you decided you want to go... Go get after-school milkshakes with the cool kids. Ugh. Don't say cringy stuff, Brownie. On second thought, just let Angel kill me. Ahem. Can somebody please explain to me what's going on? Other cats and dogs in the field are similarly confused. Coco tells them the lengthy story of how Patches and Angel swap bodies, how she killed nearly every dog at Hachiko High, and how they were resurrected as a zombie army. By the end of the story, all the students are zoning out and chatting amongst themselves. Well then, that was the most eventful day of school I've ever had. Let me guess, you thought it was perfect. All of hits Patches. Ow? You scared me so much, Patchy. But I guess I'll forgive you since we're best friends. You'd forgive me for anything, wouldn't you? I'll give you punchies if you scare me again, though. All of growls softly. It's obvious they mean business. I better not incur your wrath, then. Let's say bye to every pup, I mean everybody, and then walk home together. We can watch cartoons and eat peanut butter. That actually sounds kind of a nice. Hmm. Unless I'm missing something. Hmm. You ready to go, Patches? Not yet. What about Mittens? Hang on, was it Mittens? I'm pretty sure. Mittens Whisker. I, s I think I've messed up. I think I already messed up somehow. Because they're... <sighs> Ugh, I probably have to redo everything. I swear to God, I talked to Whiskers, but they're like completely, you know, down. It's weird. I think I just like accidentally didn't talk to them during... The home ec, and that's what messed me up, but I'll, I'll just do all this and then go back, do what I messed up, and then get the, you know, the exclusive perfect ending. But let me just finish this up. Um, yeah, I'm not ready to go yet, not yet. There's a whole load of treasures behind the school. Rover and I do expeditions all the time. The toys are as far as I can, uh, I can see. Snacks as far as the snout can smell. Oh my, it sounds delightful. But where are the other worldly riches? There must be a terrifying gatekeeper like a dragon guarding a horde, no? That's the best part. The dragon wants you to take their treasure. Well, this sounds amazing. It's trash, all of the talk about trash. I'm certain no one condones you all dumpster diving and dragging the smell of hot garbage into the school. But it'd be such a waste. Why take the trash out when you can take it in? And by in, I mean in my mouth where it belongs. That sounds questionable. Perhaps another dog's trash is another cat's treasure. Whoa, that's some deep stuff you're stepping in, Felix. Thank you, dog. Doug. Thank you, D Doug. As well, and you as well, Rover. I feel such a fool, having believed you were nothing but destructive cat maulers. The only thing we maul here is garbage. And sometimes electric cords. I'm all those things as well. Well, it appears you'll, you're all having a very important conversation. Olive and I will take her leave now. Bye, guys. We'll, have, we'll save some trash for you two. Hmm. What about over here? These people... Yeah, fuck. Mittens, I didn't talk to Mittens at all! Uh, hi Ginger, hi Mittens, hello, it's so nice to see you. Hello Olive and hello Patches. So you took a cat's body for a joyride, did you get it out of your system? Eh, I can't say I'd recommend it. What were you two talking about? Oh, Mitt and I are going to make presentation for all the principal of our schools. Something that will convince them to allow interschool activities. Perhaps they'd even allow some communal school days like today. I'm just visualizing it. A massive, colorful trifold with modern examples of cats and dogs working together, as well as ancient examples from the grimoire. And the board in and of itself will be creative collaboration between students from both of our schools. Oh my dog, that sounds so fun. I have leftover paints from making the banner in the school lobby today. Can I help? Absolutely. All cats and dogs are welcome. When, everyone, when everything is complete, we should present it to your new family for practice. My new family. The Witchian family. Blood is blood, after all. Oh, wow. Oh my dog, this trifold has to be perfect. I can't have them thinking I'm just some freaky magical mutt. If it eases your mind, my family is easily swayed by the magically adept. In fact, after we tell them what you're capable of, I wouldn't be surprised if they respected your opinion more than Whisks. I heard that. I guess that's good to know. All of hugs, Ginger. Don't be worried, Ginger, your family already likes you. Yes, Whisk and I think you're pretty alright. I can't believe if all goes well, we might be able to attend the same school. So I'm not- so I'm not rid of Angel and Coco for the rest of time? How disappointing. All this Max patches on the head, it's not very effective. I'm kidding, of course. I'm looking forward to seeing you two tear down the fabric of society from the inside out. Let me know if there's any politician that needs to be swayed. Non-violently, of course. I was on board until you said non-violent. We'll keep you in the loop, Patches. All of hugs Ginger and Mitt goodbye. Hmm. So you're a dog, huh? Is that a problem? 
No, 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 not at all. Patches rolls his eyes. Olive looks very nervous. Look, I'm really sorry. It must have been so annoying talking to me. All he did was insult your entire species and hit on you. For the record, I don't think you're a bad dog or a bad cat. Great, because I live for your approval. Ah, uh, shit, I didn't mean, like... Maybe we can get to know each other better sometime. That might help convince me your apology is worth accepting at all. Oh, I think Mitt planned on having the Magical Club visit Hejiko High in the future to study magic with some dogs. Maybe our paths will cross. Perhaps. Av looks a little less nervous. Hmm. Why would they build a school so close to the woods? Maybe it's nice to... <laughs> nice being so close to a bunch of cute kitties. I have a hunch they only built it here to scare them further into the woods. Really? It's just a hunch. No. Well, maybe things can be different. We can be nice doggies and make it so cats can come to school here whenever. Nah, it's too much effort. No. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't be surprised if the town changed their minds about cats after hearing about the success of a school day. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, or here. Ah, oh, so much to talk to. Hi, Angel. Hi, Luna. Hello, all of Angel. Oh dear, I mean Patches. Ah, uh, hi, you guys. It's so nice being back in my body. I don't like that you cut my fur, though. Well, I don't like that you grew my fur out. But long fur is so nice, and yours grew so much in a, such a short time. Did I stutter? Please don't fight. Fight? Oh no, we just talk like this sometimes. Oh. Don't worry, the thought of resolving my issues with Angel using violence has begun to make me feel... dead. Why not be upfront about your feelings, hmm? Yeah. Kill them with brutal honesty, that's what my mother always says. No! Baby steps, I suppose. It's refreshing to see you're back to normal, Patches. Oh, really? It seemed an awful a lot like everyone liked me more with Angel in my body. Oh, no. Uh, I'm so sorry to have given you that impression. In truth, I was only so supportive of your... Behavioral changes because I thought it was you. You've become more and more distant since middle school. To see you being more open was a relief. Well, that would be quite petty of me, wouldn't it? I'm sorry I worried you, Luna. I just absolutely despise being open about those things called emotions. That's alright, I, can, I can't pretend it's the easiest thing to do. Just know I care for you, or care about you. You're the best vice president I could ask for. Daw. All pulls everyone into a group hug. We'd better bid farewell to our other friends before we leave. See you at the next club meeting, Patches. I'll see you whenever. Hmm. I can't talk to uh, the uh, angel alone, I guess. Tigger and Holly are in the middle of a heated conversation. Whoa, so you had no arms. Yeah, it was huge inconvenience. I just kind of sat there all day. Man, how would you play sports without arms? You don't. You don't play sports? Sorry, I don't get it. You just do something that doesn't require arms, like sitting. Or like soccer? No, like... Well, I guess you could technically play soccer, or skateboarding, rollerblading, track and field. Uh, well, I've never even done any of those things, and having no arms on top of that, I just embarrass myself and everyone would laugh at me. Okay, but, will they laugh at you if I pounce on them and do this? Tigger flexes hard. No, but I will. Well, that's good enough for me. Now that my body's healed, I was just going to play it safe and stick to reading, but I did always think ice skating looked pretty. Maybe it'd be easier to start if I had friends there with me. Yo, let's do it. Olive and Patches decide to let this newfound friendship blossom. Hmm. Friendship. Up until all the artists start, like, drawing Rule 34 and fanfics of both of them, even though they're kind of side characters, with very, very little known about them besides character tropes. I mean, the armless is even less so. Tigger is just jock stereotype, and the very no-armed girl that now has arms... I don't know, it's just sort of there. Hmm... Not yet. Talking to these three combined, huh? I did everything right except for fucking mittens. Just skipping out. Must have been when I was baking the cake and not talking to them. Ugh. Uh, wasn't today just the best day ever? All of you literally just spent all day reading, snacking, and then almost got banished to the Shadow Realm by your so-called best friend. Almost. I'd say any day where we're not getting brutally murdered is a pretty good day. I'm with Sparky on this one. I think today would only be a win if we all got milkshakes. Milkshakes? I remember the first time we got milkshakes? Sparky wouldn't stop eating my fries. They were my fries. I'll treat you to fries, Brownie. That'll make them taste way better. Everyone but Patches is chatting about milkshakes. 
and diner food, he fidgets a little. Oh no! We're making Patchy feel left out! Wow, all of you're doing a better job singling me out than I ever could. Oh no! Sparky feels the urge to howl as well. Honestly, Patches, the first time we got milkshakes kind of sucked. My feet were covered in blood and we had to hide Coco's cat ears under a dumb sun hat. And Sparky wouldn't stop eating my fries. I paid for those fries. And I like that sun hat. If you came... Maybe you come along, we can get up to some real shenanigans. The non-lethal sort, I mean. Like unscrewing the tops of salt shakers. Yes, genius. Love it. I'd love to join you, but Olive and I had plans tonight. And I'm not just saying that out of spite. We will commit petty crimes some other time. Have fun being lame. See you, Patches. If you ever want an outlet for your uh, violent tendencies, we can work out together sometime. I'll see you next time I visit Hachiko High. I mean, if the faculty can ever forgive us for killing them, resurrecting them as zombies, and leaving them to wander the woods while we had free reign of the school for the day, we might be in luck. Ginger Mittens were discussing ways to improve cat-dog relations between schools. Seriously. Thanks for the heads up, I'll definitely join in that endeavor. Hmm. Yes, that's everything. Just the fact that, you know, Mittens is completely fucked up, but whatever. Because I don't have their heart up at all. Let's go do whatever. Uh, let's go, I'm looking forward to seeing you eat an entire jar of peanut butter. Yay! The implications. Perfect ending. This is like a perfect ending, but it truly isn't. You win! Just, just, you win. Big fucking yikes on the bottom left. Credits time. Wait, what? Pancake? No. Anyways, now we have to go back! <coughs> oh, back really far. I think I have to redo it all over again. But thanks to the power of the control button, I, it shouldn't take long, although I've been already recording for almost... Uh, almost... 40 minutes, but yeah, just give me some time. I'll get the perfect, perfect, actual perfect ending. And then the imperfect ending. Alright, now that I have, I think, everything properly done, everyone has all their hearts up, now I'll just randomly say, getting revenge! Nah, wait, wait. What's best? Kill! Patches, beckons, they lean. And them. I'll kill them all while they love me. <coughs> Everyone pat patches. Every last student is dead. I did it. <laughs> Dano. Wait, wait. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I did it, you can see. None of the hearts are messed up. All right. And everything is the same. Get attacked by the twink. I don't think I don't think anything's changed. We'll see if anything's changed with mittens now that Hmm. I think everything's basically the same. The difference will be like at the end end. Alright, let's see how it is then. Let's go. The perfect end. Hmm. Was there that many stars before? I think there was no stars before. I win. Mm-hmm. I didn't make any mistake. I'm looking at them all just in case. No. There it is. You made everyone super happy. That's it. It was just then for this image here. Everyone is dead. Everyone is dead. Um, Mittens and everyone like on the bottom right look completely different. My face is kind of in the way, though. They're in like casual clothes. And Tigger is in a flower Hawaii kind of shirt. I don't know, man. Uh, Felix is looking more normal, a little more healthy. And Brownie is eating... Is, is Brownie, like, nibbling Coco's ear, or is it just, like, the, the, just the placement, simply? Like, maybe we could say Brownie is sniffing Coco's ear, or you could just say it's wholesome and they're lying down on each other, blah blah blah, fanfics. And... Patch is just sort of sitting in the middle, like, huh, hmm, alright. 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. A, a, a happy ending. I think that's it for that, though. So now I gotta do the absolute imperfect ending without messing up. So I'll, I'll do that quickly and then see what, what kind of screen we get rather than just Patches standing alone, everyone dead, and him just being like, oh, okay. Sort of thing. Alright, so everyone should be displeased and we're gonna get the ultra imperfect ending. Mm, blah 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 blah. I think everything will be the same. I just have to continue not making people happy. Getting revenge. Good. And then heal everyone. We already know what'll happen. Kill. Lean over, kill them all. Literally, I'm replaying the entire game, fixing my mistakes, just for literally a single image. Patches is alone, the world is awfully stale. I did it, I'm finally free. I still look sad, but... Mm-hmm. All of them look good. One week later. Yeah. I died a week later? Patches is in a strange, fiery realm. The air is so hot, it's hard to breathe. Ah, uh, this place again. Welcome! Hello, Bopamet. It appears I've gotten myself killed again. I suppose these things happen when your unquenchable thirst for blood is unsatiated by the massacre of your local high school. I just couldn't stop killing. Bopamet Bones Creek. You have left immense suffering in your wake. So much so, that I have reserved a special seat in Inferno just for you. Bopamet grips patches with their bony claws. Bopamet, uh, I'm not sure if it's Bapomet or how I'm <laughs> Bapomet. Chains patches to the rocky walls of the underworld. No ma amount of magic will ever free him. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess that's somewhat deserving. Suffer for eternity in absolute boredom. I don't know. How many years would it take for him to reflect on everything? Like thousands of years? Who knows? But now he'll be lonely forever. But either way, I don't know. That's it. That's it. We're done. Finally. Finally. Been recording for how long? Yeah, I've been playing for over an hour. Jesus Christ. Just to get one video done. It's a lot. But we wrapped it up. We got the last episode. A lot of people were nagging me to get this done. <laughs> and there's a lot of games I gotta play, like a lot of horror games especially. It'd be awesome if people could watch or try out my horror videos, but I know a lot of people are like, oh, but I don't like horror, and that's that's fine. Because it's usually when I play a horror game, usually people that are just here for the furry content, you have to realize it's not about the horror game in itself, but it's about the friends we make along the way. <laughs> the commentary and the personality and the either making fun of the horror game or just how the horror game doesn't phase me kind of fun, I don't know. But either way, people can watch whatever the hell they want if the thumbnail looks interesting or the title sounds interesting. But that is that for that. We're done. Finally finished the trilogy. And next up are the, the fan games I saw. They, I haven't even linked on my browser. Hang on, what was it? By Raw Fish, The Perfect Apocalypse, IF, IF0, and IF2. Uh, to try those out. I wonder if there's any other fan games. Let me let me check in itch.io briefly. Perfect apocalypse. Let's see if there's any others. There is. No, oh, I think I see their original, the actual original perfect apocalypse, and it looks slightly different. There's a gutted dog on the toilet seat. She's very dead. Different drawing style with patches and everything. Different perspectives. It's like very similar. It's kind of strange then. If even on itch.io, Perfect Apocalypse. Hmm. Because how, in terms of release, Perfect Apocalypse 1 came out, and then the second game, Purgatory Forever, and then Patches Inferno, but then also Love at First Bite, I guess, remade. So let's see, it was published February, uh, February 16th. 2021 and the third game came out June 21st 2020 so yeah they made the first then second then third game and then they remade the first game and even then man I guess that's actually fine in order technically it is in chronological order of the first second and third 
even though Love at First Bite when it was remade is, you know, more recent than the second game, which is why it was confusing at first. But either way, we, we, we finished it all. I, I don't think I need to play the original first game. It's the exact same thing, I'd imagine, just, you know, more expanded. But either way, again, fan games, probably. We'll see. We'll see. But I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a fluff subscriber. Hit the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, until the next time. Rawr.